This is Mr. Donovan here, and we're going to use the example of our simulation to talk about net force. Right now, we're working on these, que uh, these questions right here under practice together. Question one asks about pushing a girl, and we're going to use this example right here. I'm going to apply 150 newtons of force to the girl starting right now. You can use the values here to answer question one about the net force being applied to the girl at this time. Question two asks about what happens when we increase friction. So now I'm going to do that. Increase friction a little bit. Oh, there we go. I'll hit play. Again, use the numbers here and the picture to answer question two. For question three, it asks what happens when we put a box on top of the girl. So I'm going to do that now. There's the box. Again, what's the net force on the girl now? Now that there's a box on top of her. And then for the last question, number four, it asks what happens when we put the fridge on top of the box? There's the fridge. And again, what's the net force on the girl now? Now you're ready to move on to practice on your own. So now we're on level one and two of practice on your own right here on your handout. Um, the first question is, what is the net force applied to the rope at the start of the tug of war? So for this question, we're talking about this tug of war right now, and I'll hit go. So now both teams are applying force. You can look up here and see exactly how much force both teams are applying. Question two asks about the net force when the blue team gets the extra person. So here is the blue team getting an extra person. And now you can see what happens. Again, use the values up here to calculate the net force acting on the cart. For question three, you don't need to look at this video. And for the rest of the handout, you don't need to look at this video um, either, so you can put your computer away. Thanks.